Welcome guys, in this video, I will give you top 10 close range tips and tricks that you need to know as a PUBG player, but also it might help you to become a better player at this game. So starting with the tip number 1, it's related to jump shot, whenever I was about to do a jump shot I always make sure that I stop shooting before hitting the jump button. The reason is because when shooting, your movements will be slowed as compared to the normal running. And this can actually affect your jump shot performance. Let me show you an example. So when you run and jump normally, this is how far you would go, but when you fire and jump, this is how far you would go. And now, shooting after hitting the jump button. This is how far you would go. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison between jumping before shooting versus jumping while shooting, you can clearly see that jumping and shooting will cover less distance. But not just that, you will also move slightly slower, or in other words, your momentum speed will slightly decrease when shooting while jumping. But also in some angles it looks like you'll be jumping slightly higher, if you jump before shooting, this is obviously due to the momentum speed. Anyway this may be some small differences, but they give me a lot of confidence that my jump shot will be the best as it could be. To sum up, it's always a better option to stop firing before doing a jump shot. Even in the situations where you're pre-firing, it's always a better option to stop your pre-firing for at least half a second, it's more than enough time for you to hit the jump button. Anyway moving on to the next tip, bait your enemy into pre-firing at you. So the idea of this trick is for example, you and your opponent are hiding behind a cover, like this, so at this moment, if you simply go out from your cover, just to pre-fire, or pretend like you're going to rush, but in reality you just fire for one second, and come back into your cover. And if your enemy reacts to your bait, there are two things that will happen. The first is they will keep shooting at you, even if you're hiding behind a cover, and the second one is, they will pre-fire for one to two seconds, and eventually they will go back into their cover. So at this moment, most of the players has a habit of reloading their weapons, even if they only shot few rounds. Target down! So you could take that reloading habit as your advantage and rush and kill them. So let me show you few examples. In this situation, I was pretending to rush from this door, and I was actually making sound as I'd come from this direction, so my enemy started pre-firing, which is what I wanted him to do. And you most probably thinking, how long do I need to wait, or when can I rush inside, for this you need to understand what weapon your enemy is using, for example in my situation the player was using an M4, so I know the M4 can only pre-fire up to 3 seconds, and 4 seconds if the player is using extended mag, since this is a early game fight I guess that enemy will not have extended mag, so I rushed inside approximately after 3 seconds of the pre-firing, and as I expected, the player was reloading, the perfect timing. And here is another tip, if there is a door in between you and your enemy, you can open the door and pretend like you're going to attack, but just hide behind a cover until the enemy stop firing, and as I said before people have a habit of reloading their weapons, so you could take advantage of that reloading habit in few situations. Moving on to the next trick, so when you open a grenade to throw, everyone under 20 meters can hear the grenade pin opening sound, so they will run away knowing that you will be throwing a grenade, but there is a way you can make them not hear the grenade opening pin sound, and it requires a teammate of yours, so when you are about to open the grenade, tell your teammate to shoot randomly. Now the grenade pin sound will get mixed with gunshots, making it impossible to recognize the grenade opening pin sound. And trust me your enemy will not hear anything except gunshots, so they will have no idea that you're throwing a grenade, unless you expose yourself, want to learn how to throw perfect grenades then check out my grenade guide it will help you. And many of you been asking me to make school apartment tips and tricks, so here is it, there isn't many tricks left to show you, but grenades are extremely powerful weapon in school apartment buildings, so let me show you few grenade lineups that may help you. One of the most common situations in school apartment fights is this, you're in this building and your opponent is on top of this building, waiting for you to peek from windows, so what you have to do here is, try to get on top of your building's roof, make sure you run quickly otherwise you will get shot. Now stand next to this wall example like this. And now make sure you are facing towards the east direction, you can look at this top and check your directions, and now align your crosshair with the rooftops line as shown here. And now run forward, and jump throw the grenade. And make sure you hit the jump at this location, or when you cross this wall. 
And now the grenade will land on enemy's rooftop, and if you're lucky you might get a knock. If you want to get a perfect knock, cook the grenade until it reaches 3 seconds before jump throwing it. And now the grenade will blow up, as soon as it lands, giving your opponents no time to run. And if you want to throw your grenade a little bit aside, make your direction facing towards 85, not towards the east, now when it reaches 4 seconds jump throw the grenade. It will blow up exactly or almost close to the store. Ok so one of the most common camping spots at this school apartments is this one, so let me show you few grenade lineups to throw at this camping spot. The first one is you need to throw it from the ground, from this location, now align your grenade trajectory in between these two lines, and throw the grenade, when it reaches 2 seconds timer. This is how it looks from spectator view. But you always have to be extremely careful while throwing grenades, because one single mistake you do, it could get you killed. But if you want to throw grenade a little bit safely, jump on this window frame, and stand on the frame and look upwards, now when throwing grenade you need to align your grenade trajectory as I'm doing, make sure the trajectory is not straight up. It needs to be in a certain angle, so the grenade will land on the roof. And you need to throw grenade as quickly as possible, if grenade timers goes above 5 seconds, it will most likely blow up in the sky. And now to the next one, for this one you need to be at either left or right sides of the apartment building, and now use lean and aim with your crosshair at this exact location. And when you throw the grenade it will perfectly land near the camping spot. It also works when you throw it from other side of the building, but make sure that your crosshair is at this exact spot when throwing nade. It also works in other open roof apartment buildings. And now similarly, if you jump on the window frame, and then jump on edges of the wall. And then align yourself at the middle of that wall. And then aim for the same thing as before, now the grenade will land exactly or almost close to the door on the roof. And now to the last grenade lineup, this is from behind the apartment, for this lineup, you need to stay in this exact same bush, and switch to FPP, and place your crosshair on the upper window frame and throw. The grenade will land exactly in front of the door. And if you don't want your enemies running away from your nades, cook the grenades until timer reaches 3 to 4 seconds. Anyway, that's all I got for this video I hope you learned something new. If you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, and see you guys in the next video, enjoy my bot gameplay.